Good morning and welcome back to Taco Universe Beginner Guides. Today we're going to start talking about Acryptia. This is the newest game released by the Taco Universe and it is an interactive skill-based card game. So let's go ahead and check it out. If you go to their website, I have a link in the description down below. It's, go ahead and click on the Cryptia button at the bottom. It's going to take you over to the game. Please note that you cannot play this on mobile right now. Probably in the future you can, but as of right now you cannot. Once you go to the site, go ahead and click on enter. Most likely it'll have you logged in. I am already logged in. Uh, it's as simple as clicking log in. It'll connect to your Wax Wallet. Make sure you're logged into your Wax Wallet. Let's go ahead and do a brief overview and we'll do some future videos diving into gameplay, equipping different things, uh, the task list. So let's go ahead through some of the details here. First of all, you have your inventory. This is new for season two. Uh, it allows you to equip the helmets and in the future will be additional gear where you can go ahead and equip it. Just click on the mirror. It takes you over to the inventory screen. You can see right now I have nothing staked in game. So before you can equip anything, you go ahead over to the stake button and you click on stake and you see I have a dented helmet that I can go ahead and stake in game and use. There are a number of different uh, equipment or gear as part of season two. There will be more in the future. They give you nice little boosts within the game. You go ahead and click on what you want to stake. You click on stake. It'll ask you to go ahead through the authentication process. Now that it's staked, it's going to go ahead and give you the option to equip it. So you can go back over to gear and you click on the helmet and you see now it is staked. What this helmet does, it gives you a 4% damage reduction once you're actually playing. Every time you get attacked, you have a 4% chance of reducing that by 1 HP, which is a nice little bonus in the game. Once you have that staked and eventually the body and the hands will be another option for the gear, go ahead and click on save. And now you have your gear equipped. Well, once you authenticate, you have your gear equipped and you're ready to play the game. A couple of the other options in this overview, we have the door right here, which allows you to get into the game itself. We're going to do a separate video on the gameplay. We have the, the torch here. The torch basically uh, is it's one Omnicoin. It gives you three chances and allows you to unlock the tasks. Over here, you have the venue. When you first, when you log into the first time, it gives you the option to go ahead and select your venue. You can also click on here and go ahead and change your venue. If you're not familiar with venues, we'll have a whole separate line of videos on that, but it's basically a, a separate part of the Taco Universe, which allows players to host. It's essentially the land of Taco Universe. So you can select the venue that you wanna go ahead and use. I'm just using Shing Land for this. And then you have the task list. If you click on this, this is basically the rewards. You have to have that torch lit in order to be eligible to put points towards the task list. I'm going to have a separate video tomorrow that shows you the task list. Uh, it basically, you have three and they count down every three days. They reset and they give you a chance to earn XP rewards points, however you want to call it, uh, to go ahead and level through. It's a battle pass type experience within the game. You can earn different items, you earn your badge, you can earn NFTs, you earn different cryptocurrency within Taco Universe. And if you're good enough, you can get all the way through the season, you can win some Acryptia NFTs, which will allow you'll be able to use in the future. Uh, you also earn different packs throughout the season. It's just a fun thing to earn different NFTs and different crypto within the game. Last but not least, let's talk about the settings. If you click on settings, it gives you the option to change it between the different blockchain nodes. Uh, it gives you the select the region uh, and then your different uh, sound and music volumes. And there's a nice little tutorial in here and to log out. It's simple as clicking log out. There will be additional options down the road, but this is the basic overview. Uh, again, uh, next I'll go ahead and do a video on the, the task list and also the gameplay and show you how to play the game. All right. Hope you enjoy. I'll talk to you later. Bye.